Can Grandstream devices mesh the 7062 along with two access points? Yes, they can. In this video, I'm going to show you it done in the GDMS and the local version. They both work perfectly fine. The local version has a couple extra steps other than the, in the cloud version, but they both work 100%. In the video, I will show you the meshing and some throughput through them also. So we have to thank Grandstream for sending me this stuff and for you guys for asking me the questions. Also, go like and subscribe because there's more stuff coming. I'm going to start with the hardest one. Since locally, it's a bit more to set up, but still very easy, but just a couple more steps. You will want to make sure that you have the latest firmware on the 7062 before you start. And mine's currently at, and I think the current version is 1.0.9.51 is what I last did mine in the video. Just so you know, you should have that updated before you go here so you can have some proper success. So let's um, log into our router. We have an IP address, it is online. We'll use our admin, the password's on the bottom, so we have that written down. I left it as default. We're gonna skip this. Let's do a quick uh, internet configuration, might as well. Router mode, Canada. Time change is here. for DNS and there we go default SSD I'm going to change this password to we'll call this white lab okay okay this sets the um, SSID on the router so now let's log back in Okay, so first we wanna make sure we have the latest firmware. Latest firmware is this right here, 1.0.9.51. It's the latest version. I'm gonna plug in two access points. This will take a couple minutes, so we'll go through some settings here. So the first thing I did when I did mine was I went to AP management to mesh, and then I turned on this mesh, and I left these settings all normal just the way they are right here didn't change anything this right here if we change this lower it will just change the time how much it searches for the actual access points keeping at five is just fine so we'll do that the ssid we just set on here so the white lab and then the one two three four five six seven eight and we should be able to go to access points and i don't think they're online yet but let's have a quick look Nope, they're still booting, so we'll wait a couple seconds. So they're both purple. I'll throw a photo in here. We should be able to click pair AP and see both access points. We'll go like this and click both of them and go save. Now this part takes about two minutes because they're sending the configuration. And after that, we'll be able to see these all go green. Okay, these are now all green. And I'll show you a photo, they're actually blue. Now that these are on, we can confirm that their mesh is turned on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug my laptop and I'm going to plug um, it directly into the switch with the access point. And I'll show you a picture here how I have it set up and we'll see it being meshed and working. What I do first is I reboot the access point so they can reboot and then properly handshake. As you can tell, both of them are online here. Under here it says mesh and this one is meshed. Right. I am actually connected with my laptop through the little Grandstream 7711P switch meshed. Let's try a fast.com speed test. Almost a gigabit throughput on this access point meshing on this Grandstream network. See how easy that was just for the local version? Now we should hop into doing the GDMS version. So we go gdms.cloud, Jason's lab, put in my 208 token. I created a 
white tower mesh profile in the cloud here already. Now we just have to add these devices. So we go devices, let's add the router first, since I already have that information. We'll call it white tower router, the MAC address, and we'll go add. Okay. It's added. And what I'm going to do here, since it's added, let's add the other two access points. So we'll go Wi-Fi 6E AP, the MAC address, and then we will label this so we can see it properly. Let's see if it adds, see if I made any mistakes. It's added. It's gone blue. We'll add the other access point too. Notice we can name that, see the name right here, but I just named them here so I can find them in here. And I'm going to show you guys a cool thing after here. So we'll go Wi-Fi 6 AP, MAC address add. Now there's one more device I'm going to add onto this because it's manageable and the 7711P switch can't be managed locally yet in the current firmware. So, but in here we can add it. So we'll go add eight port mini. That's what I'm going to call it. And the reason why I'm adding this is so that way we can see it in our list here. And I'm going to show you a cool trick here. These are all online and I want to show you a insights here. This is one thing that I really like about the, um, cloud version as I can go like this and go network topology. We see two access points and the eight point mini. Okay. If we go like this and turn on clients and meshed APs. Okay. These are all connected to here. As soon as we mesh these, these will go mesh and then connect to this switch, but let's, we got to configure the mesh site first. So we want to go to settings. Wi-Fi. We have this set up for GDM Cloud. I want to make sure that I know the password. So I'm going to change it. Okay. And we have MLO turned on. So we'll go save. MLO is not uh, needed, but I have it turned on. Now we're back to this. Both access points are online. And they have the current firmware, except for one of them is behind, which is the 7665, the 6E. I haven't just done the firmware yet, but that's fine. So they're both blue. They need to be blue, so that way the configuration is set. Now we can go back to Wi-Fi, Mesh, and turn on Mesh, and click Save. Once that's done, the access points will blink a couple more times, meaning they're getting their configuration from the cloud. Once that's done, I'm going to remove the switch by going here. I'm going to go like this and go CMD. We're going to ping the router. I'm going to show you that I'm going to disconnect and then be reconnected here. 192.168.80.1-T. And the only thing we're going to have connected is the two access point or one access point to the switch. And then we're going to mesh that. So we're connected and the other one I'm going to reboot so we can remesh and I'll show you once they come online, what it looks like. This takes about two minutes. We're back online. It is showing we got a little bit of latency there because they're still handshaking. Let's go back to here. It's showing that I have an access probably point updated. So it's probably this one right here, but we're not going to do that right now. So we can see that everything's online. We're meshing. I want to do a speed test to show you guys something here. There we go. Awesome results. Okay. And there's one feature on here. I want to show you guys that show you guys that this is actually meshing and actually working. If we go back to insight network topology, Remember I turned on that feature showing when things were meshing? Well, these two access points are meshed right now. And this switch is going through the Wi-Fi 6E right here. It's connected to the white tower through the Wi-Fi. But I believe if we go devices and the switch, and we look at the ports, we'll see two ports that are active. 
which are, I don't care. One is the access point and one is my laptop, this one right here. And we're meshing through that right here. So my laptop desktop is plugged into seven and going into here, meshing is on the other port on here. I can prove that we're also meshing because there's nothing plugged into any of these ports. So I thought I'd show you guys that as it's going through there. A little setup I put up in the uh, spare room we have here in our theater room. We have the meshed access point we just added to the GDMS cloud, running Ubuntu on a spare computer, connected with the injector that I was talking about in the video. Red cable goes to the tower, and then the other one goes to the access point to power it. And doing a speed test, we're getting 620 megabits per second. Pretty sweet. Well, hopefully this helps somebody out, or many people out, because I do get those emails and people want this request. So if it helped, let me know. If it didn't, eh, let me know also. And um, if you have more requests, just uh, drop them down below in the video. Have a great day, and... Uh, Thanks for watching.